it's time for maths with Mr. Thomas. Graphs! Woohoo! Let's move on to look at lesson number three, trig graphs. This lesson will focus on the period and the amplitude. This is something we have come across in the past, but you need to be 100% okay with it before we move on. So a quick recap of trig graphs. We know sine x, cos x, and tan x. Sine looks like an s, whereas cos looks like a c. You could also remember that the sine graph starts in the sand and the cos graph starts in the clouds. Both of these repeat themselves every 360 degrees. There's a maximum of one and a minimum of negative one. The tan graph is slightly different. It repeats itself every 180 degrees, as you can see here. And there is no maximum. This line here is a vertical asymptote that the graph will get closer and closer to, but it won't actually touch. It will just keep on going. So Connor, do you remember what's meant by the period and the amplitude? Yes. Good. Connor, can you sketch a trig function? Yes. Good. And Connor, think graph transformations. Okay. Brilliant. So the graph transformations, we saw them in chapter four with graph transformations. This was the sixth that we learned. If you have forgotten any of these, I'm not going to go over them just now. Go back to one of the other lessons and have a quick look or pause this and look over them. But let's say then I ask you to sketch y equals three sine four x minus two. Starting in the middle, we've got sine of four x we're multiplying it by 3 and we're taking away 2. So sine 4x, well for a trig graph, that means we'd have 4 cycles between 0 and 360 if we graphed sine 4x. So that would look like that. Putting a 3 in front of that is going to change the maximum and the minimum. The maximum will now be 3, the minimum at negative 3. It's going to stretch the graph in the y-axis so it will look more like that. The negative 2, do you remember what that does? Zayad, what does it do? Brilliant, Zayad. It moves every single point down two places. Good. So all the points will move down. So you'll get something that looks more like that. Let's put that on the next page then. So this is the graph that we just had, 3 sine 4x minus 2. The two words that you need to be aware of then are the period and the amplitude. So the period... It is the length of one cycle of the periodic, which means repeated, wave. So you can see that this wave here, it's just repeated. And you know the sine graph, the cos graph, the tan graphs, they're repeated every 360 or 180 degrees. So the length of one of the cycles then, you can see that one of the cycles here on the graph would be 90 degrees. So the period, whoops, wrong one, the period would be 90 degrees. Another way of finding it is to take the 360 degrees and divide it by how many cycles you have. Because there's a 4 in front of the x, it means you do 360 divided by 4. The amplitude, which I just showed you, that's the distance from the middle of the graph to the top or the bottom. So from negative 2 to 1, you've got a distance of 3. Or from negative 2 to negative 5, you're still going down 3. It's a distance of 3, so that's still 3. You could, if it's harder to work out the middle of the graph, you can always work out the top and the bottom, and then get the whole distance and then divide it by 2. That would also work. So let's try a few examples then, stating the period and the amplitude. I'm going to give you the graphs and the equations, and we will go through these. So for this one, the period then, well... You know it's 360 degrees, it's a cos graph, and it'll be divided by the number in front of x. So it's 360 divided by 3. You could also think, right, well, I've got 1, yeah, I've got 2, I've got 3 of them on this graph, so do 360 divided by 3, and that's 120. So this graph repeats itself every 120 degrees. The amplitude is the distance from the middle to the top, so the top's 1, Bottom's negative 3, so the middle's at negative 1, and you've got a distance of 2. So that will be your amplitude. Example 2, the period and amplitude, this time of y equals tan 2x. For this one, we have a period of, well, 
For this one, the period is slightly different. For the tan graph, it repeats itself every 180 degrees. So, between 0 and 180 degrees, you'd have one tan graph, and then really another cycle, so you're dividing it by 2, if you can see that there. There's the tan graph there, and then you start to repeat yourself. It's going up again, so you'd have two of them. So 180 divided by 2, which is obviously going to be 90 degrees. And you can see that there on the graph. It starts to repeat itself every 90 degrees. The amplitude, the distance from the middle of the graph, well, here's the middle just at zero, going up to the very top. Well, really, that would just keep on going forever. It's going to get closer and closer to your vertical asymptote, which would lie in here. It'll get closer and closer to that line. It'll never touch it. So really, the amplitude you cannot work out. It cannot be measured. So be careful for that if you get a tan graph. Example three. Again, state the period and the amplitude. So this time, the period, well, it's 360 degrees that it repeats itself because it's a cost graph. And you want to think how many do you have between 0 and 360. So starting in the cloud, coming down here, we've got the bottom at 360, then it would go back up. So really, we've just got half of a cos cycle. So it's 360 divided by a half. You know when you divide by a half, it's the same as timesing by 2. So you'd have 720 degrees. You can also see here that you've just got half the graph, or you can look at the number in front of x. So 360 divided by that coefficient of x, that 0 0.5. The amplitude, the distance from the middle of the graph to the top, well, it might be a wee bit harder to see here, or maybe some of you have it already, but the middle would just be 2. So from 2 to 4.5, you just have 2.5. Again, you could always work out between 4.5 and negative a half. You've got a distance of 5, and then you could think, right, well, I'm going to be halving that, so it will just be 2.5. That works as well. Give these questions a shot, see how you get on. Any problems, let me know. But as I said, you need to be 100% okay with the period and the amplitude before we move on. Good luck, have fun. Graphs.